What's up, everybody? This is Herb and Grower. I know you're what you're thinking. What the hell is this? Well, this is my parents' house. There's a problem. It's kind of been a problem with the uh, irrigation system that was installed. You know, when the house was pretty much bought, I think, like in the eight, early '80s. Um, this is all redone. All these valves um, I redid. Um, probably seven years ago. Um, did the whole new main line, and in this box is a switch, cut off, uh, shut off switch. Um, you know, so you can cut the irrigation if you have to uh, do a new main line or something. So you don't have to cut the water to the house. So, um, and I put in, I put in this valve. This valve was, um, Originally, you know, I put it in so it could, it's never run. It's never been w operational because it's capped. The lateral line is capped. Where the water comes out is right here. And uh, it's not wired. It's never been wired. But I put it in because I wanted to eventually hook up, um, a, you know, cut off a... An area that's connected to this front yard planner. This front yard planner is all on one valve. So right here, and that's all one valve. Well, that and the backyard planner is all on one valve. Check this out. Look at how big it is. It goes all the way from over there where that rose bush is, you know, it's that's not it, but it's this upper planter. That is going to be that first valve on the right side of the manifold. That first valve I was talking about, that is going to be, a new line is going to be run through this trench right here. By the way, this trench was a fucking pain in the ass. This tree right here, there's massive roots that I had to cut through. It broke all this pipe. That's why I had to do this brand new pipe. This pipe goes around the back and goes to that area. I don't know why they had to use one inch for lateral lines. The main line is coming from here, of course. And it's buried. Very deep. <laughs> Which is good. And, uh, and this is going, so this is the new lateral line. Check this out. There were two lines that were going for the same valve, one inch. Is that ridiculous or what? For this not so big yard. And it's just one valve. So right here, I had to fix this. Ugh. This is where a pipe was coming from here. And this, they were actually on top of each other, but the roots fucked them up too. But I ended up breaking them with this, you know, pickaxe because I had the roots were all entangled around them. Well, I ended up having to uh, bypass this pipe and just connect this line to both of these lines. So both of these lines are going up there. Well, so I cut it right here and right here, and I cut it right here, and this is all new. This is going to one old line. This is a T, and this wraps around, goes underneath. It wasn't easy, and it goes back to that line. So it's really a pain in the butt when you have two fixed pipes and one broken section in between two fixed sections. You can't dig the whole pipe up. So what do you do? You have... Well, what's, what I'm gonna do with one other break, it's kind of hard to explain with this because this is like that. It, this is like right here. This is the hat. So you got, if, if this was unglued, Say you glued this to these to these two before you glued it here. Well, this section 
you glue all the all at once onto both of these ends. And that's how you connect two fixed sections. Then you also have this area where you have a broken section right here where you have this slip fix is broken. This is broken right here and I need to replace this piece of shit and add these four sections with pipe in between and bypass this. So this part of the line will just go and back and connect back over there. This thing is broken right here. You should try not to use these and try to do this in the future because this is a lot stronger. There's a weak point to these and you know obviously it broke and that was me. I had to redo this. That's not somebody else. I broke it you know before when I was trying to connect and this is where <clears throat> everything's going to connect for that other that other valve so yeah everything's all it's a real pain in the ass sometimes when you have roots and it was also a pain in the ass to go through here I had to buy a big old um, it's like uh, I think it was like an 8 inch um, drill bit for uh, masonry because it had to go through there and as you can see there's a root right here that's right around this pipe or something so the only break, well, there was a break right here, a break right there, and a break right over there. So there was pain in the ass. Well, this is, a, you know, an irrigation tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, uh, I might do another uh, update on this. I uh, just wanted to uh, teach people a little bit about irrigation. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to have one-inch lateral lines, so that's these are really big. A lot. Sometimes you might have one-inch main line, but not lateral lines. Usually, it's three-quarter inch. Um, at my house, um, it's three-quarter inch main line, but this is one-inch main line at my parents' house. So, uh, thanks for watching, Herb and Grower. Peace out.